Hi. There's no co-host today. However, I didn't start when I should have. Because I was involved in the conversation, which has caused me to create another D&D character. His name is Mikhail, and he uh, grew up in a cemetery. The tree just woke up there one day, was raised by the gravekeeper. Till one day, the gravekeeper, having always thought Mikhail has quite a vivid fantasy for saying that every day he gets to play with all his friends, despite no one ever visiting. <laughs> There's like a, oh, the film is gone. There was like a what, film just in the middle of the fucking bottle holding up. That was kind of neat. Yeah, but basically... Mikhail, having claimed that he was always playing with his friends by no one ever visiting the graveyard. The gravekeeper always thought that he had quite the vivid imagination until one day. And one morning, he woke, wake, woke up, sees his body still in bed, and sees Mikhail looking right at him, floating in the air, claiming that he has become one of his friends and ha that he had to prepare a home for him. Before going out into the graveyard with a shovel and st uh, to start digging a grave. Uh, this, of course, uh, sh shit like this, of course, slowly but surely caused the townspeople to be like, you know what? Maybe we should stay away from that graveyard even more so than before. And that kept going until one day uh, a rich noble from the area died and was buried there with all his riches prompting some uh, grave robbers to come and try to take it. And Mikhail, uh, on that day, discovered that besides the talent to converse with death, he also had the talent to dole it out, as he used his knowledge of the graveyard to dispatch of the grave robbers one by one without, being, uh, without letting them notice what's going on. And the next morning, the townspeople thought they should get, they should stay away from the graveyard even more when they fought, saw the bodies of the grave robbers hanging from the gates to the graveyards with the words, uh, do not disturb the dead, carved into their bodies. And that's why uh, now Mikhail is just deciding, you know what? They always tell me so much fun stuff about the outside world. I'm gonna go travel around. So now this 12-year-old creepy child is traveling around. And uh, most people are probably not too happy about that. Yeah, that is like one of the few characters I actually created from level one, so he isn't technically a, a phantom rogue yet, but he will be in time. Reason for this, I just wanted to play a rogue for once, because I've never fucking actually played a rogue before. I do have one pl play a character planned, which is technically a rogue, but I don't play him for, for campaigns that start level one. Uh, I don't play him for ca campaigns that start level three, even. That's a character that is designed to only be online at level 6, which is an issue. <laughs> but it's an issue I accept. Oh, yeah. It's going to be creepy child just going around murdering things, and that that's fun. Anyways, can I get my shift early again? Salmon's is usually quite calm around now. But 80% of the usual seats are filled today and I couldn't take a decent break. It's after closing hours. We're sitting down completely exhausted. I wish so many people. Is there any vegetable juice? Oh, really? Vegetable juice Natsuki usually drinks is created specifically for her diet. Uh, as for her diet, she does well to make it every day. Natsuki ga diet no tame dake ni tsukutte ita to omou kai? Hmm. The only other thing I could think of would be for her health. Jin sighs after hearing my response. Tatsuya-kun, 
少し鈍感なのは可愛いかもしれないけど何事も行き過ぎは良くないよ夏希はね毎朝達也くんの分も作っていたんだよ Jin stands up. I try to join him. Huh? My head blanks out for an instant and my legs wobble. <laughs> yeah, please excuse me then. The entrance bell rings. Each member of the Asagiri household has arrived. Then it ends and return home. It's a pity for the Italians, but I can't walk them immediately. Thanks. Fina shows me a caring, tender smile. The whole Natsuki left is big after all. Everyone sits wherever they like and sip their after meal tea. And ask you'll be gone when spring comes. Emotions trickle out. That's what I mean. I mean, I won't be able to keep, it up, keep up if days like today continue. Probably. Become upset as I say that. I can't imagine pairing up with someone else at work. Tatsuya-san! たつやさん。お茶をもう一杯召し上がりますか When I say that, the doorbell rings. Did Natsuki come back early? Did Natsuki come back early? Mia pitta patters to the front door. Natsuki-san! Eh? Eh? Natsuki-chan? Sounds of footsteps approaches. Natsuki pops her head out. My eyes beat with Natsuki's right away. She looks a little tired, but her eyes are vivid. I like to think that her mom basically like continuously caught her spacing out because she cannot be with her uh, oh so beloved uh, Tatsuya. So he just takes one look at her and is like, Yeah, you're getting on the plane. Right now. Give me some grandchildren already. <laughs> Come on. Just grab them by the balls and pull them along. I, want, I, want, I finally want to see my grandchildren. Did you have anything on the Natsuki was holding onto the bag she had when she departed. In other words, she came here without dropping by her house. Here comes from the kitchen with the tea she prepared in good timing. Everyone makes room for Natsuki's seat. Why is it beside me? I mean... All these people don't even fit here. Like, there's a seat. There's, like, two seats there. That's where, like, three people fit on the couch. And that's already the entire family. 
Like, one of them is gonna have to stand. <laughs> Actually, thinking about it... Thinking about it, forget it. Forget it. Uh, Mia probably isn't, isn't sitting. Mia's probably standing. You know, made things and all that. Uh, Natsuki curls up and sits down beside me. And faintly smile, Natsuki said... <laughs> I notice how that she, now that she mentions it. My body's flushed and damp with sweat. <laughs> I was just a little surprised. Welcome back, Natsuki. <laughs> Wait a second. Even though I'm only talking to Natsuki, why am I so nervous? <laughs> Natsuki is also being bashful in her own way. But for some reason, we both bow our heads to each other. We hit each other. S sorry! As I raise my head, I see the others looking with a dumbfounded expression. Natsuki's face is red. It's the best that she's ever come to boiling from what I've seen until now. This son leaves the living room while putting on a smile. A moment of silence. Natsuki speaks. He speaks to smooth things over and drinks the tea in one gulp. I also drink my remaining tea and let out a big sigh. I managed to settle down after that. As he comes back and a normal conversation about Natsuki's travels start. おとぎ話に出てきそうな感じだった。私も一度見てみたいです。そんなに、why all of us became exhausted for some reason after I respond. Ah, uh, I'm Nezan gets up and leaves the living room. Samon san to Jin san kashira. Kito o nee chan ga denwa shita nda ne. Natsuki chan, oji san to Jin kun. Natsuki, kaitte kuru nara renraku kurai shiro. Daitai nimotsu mo motta mama de nanda. Gomen nasai. Natsuki bows down in embarrassment. Aitai. Spoon? Spoon. A wooden spoon from Milan strikes Jin. <laughs> I feel like the spoon's sharpness has increased to a certain degree. But anyway, would it, wouldn't it be better to rest up for now, Natsuki? Natsuki. The two of them comfort Natsuki who felt a little down. All of us go off to see you. Uh, go out to see you after Takamizawa family. So, that's Natsuki glances at me. Take it easy and rest up. The Takamizawa family goes home on Jin's signal. Front door closed and the atmosphere inside the house subsides. Heart was beating furiously that old time. Natsuki came back, sat beside me and told tales of her travels. My heart is throbbing violently just from that, and my body is damp with sweat. How strange. As if I'm with Natsuki. I'm. Uh, it's as if I'm. With Natsuki, I'm in. I shake my head as I stop my thoughts. I must be tired for today. Of course, I can't come up with anything but a cheap answer if I think in this state. Wow. <laughs> oh, fucking damn it. <laughs> Tell that to myself many times. 
Mai's voice brings me back to my senses. Yeah, I might be a little tired. Alright, I'll do that then. Oyasumi, Tatsuyaku? Yeah, night. Natsuki's voice has returned to Salmon's. Even though she on she's only been gone for a few days, it feels like it's been forever. Tatsuya, Ichiban-san, onegai! Raja. Nee, kochi menu wo mou isatsu onegai! May I ask please wait a second? Kore motte itte! Natsuki immediately holds out a menu to me. Thank you. Pasta ga konai in da kedo, dou natteru no? Hai! Eto! They're serving it up now, so please wait a moment. Mm. Yes, that's the way. Natsuki is being watchful of me while doing her own job, providing accurate support. Each situation consumes less energy that way, so I'm always being mindful of Natsuki, of Natsuki's job. Also being mindful of Natsuki's job. As a result, we can give high-quality service to our customers without tiring ourselves out. Welcome. Look at the entrance, and... Yahoo! Konnichiwa! Midori is standing there. Menacingly. Why did the sad music immediately start? Are? <laughs> Midori? Natsuki! Toyama is really surprised. All the customers at the, in, in the restaurant turn our way. What happened? No, 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 no. She waves her hand around restlessly, contrary to what she said. I kind of think it. Last time Toyama came to the restaurant, I think she, I told her she'd be back Saturday. Of course she'd be surprised. Ah, uh, 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 yes, this way to your seat, please. Uh, I relate Toyama's order to the kitchen. A Japanese style bacon and spinach spaghetti pops. Hiya. Midori no order? Yeah, she had spaghetti with cream sauce and porcini ma mas mushrooms last time, if I remember. Mae? Natsuki asks with a serious look. Uh, when she, yeah, I think it was on Tuesday. So, so nanda. Natsuki lowers her gaze. She obviously looks, uh, she obviously looks different from before. What's wrong? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki laughs. Yeah, she was surprised with me as well. It's understandable. She, she, Usually only sees us at school. That's coming! The two of us step forward at the same time and run into each other. Sorry, I'll go. This hasn't happened in the past few years, let alone when we started working. What the earth is wrong with Natsuki? Bring Toyama her meal after a while. Toyama waiter passed slowly, la slowly last time, can't settle down for some reason today. That make it out of her seat as she finishes eating. Gochisousama! Are you going home already? Mm-hmm. Our Toyama is restless. I hold on to her slip and put it into the register. <laughs> this, this, this CG is overly dramatic. He's just he's just billing her. He is just billing her for the food she just ate. And she's fucking standing there, watching with a look on her face as if she just handed over a marriage certificate. A Japanese star bacon and spinach spaghetti, that'll be 850 yen. Eto, 850 yen, ne? tries to. Take out a bill from her purse. She seems to be taking her time, like a purse is caught on something. People do seem to be in quite a rush when it comes to things like this. Just as I think that Toyama safely takes out a bill. Oh, some sort of ticket placed on top of the bill she held out. Oh, okay! So, in Natsuki's route, she is actually actively pursuing him now. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Wrong with the build. Uh, there's an extra there. Hold out the ticket to Toyama. Ah, eh, eh, hmm. 
Don't have my blushes bright red. Um, mushi yo kattara de in da kedo. Then my friend he speaks out as a face tides over. Issho ni eiga nante dou ka na te omotchatta ri shite sa. Damn! <laughs> she is uh, a lot more aggressive in this one than she was in her own route. And by God, why must you do this to me? Ah! Um. Hey, you change! Jemma flies out of the restaurant without listening to me. Movie ticket and a uh, 1,000 yen bill remains in my hand. Even said the store starts to get noises, people wondered what happened. Natsuki was staring at me from the corner of the store. My eyes meet with hers. Natsuki doesn't avert her eyes. She stared straight at me with a sad expression. Pardon me. I avert my eyes from Natsuki and bow to the customers. Look at Natsuki again. She was taking an order at a counter seat. Forced my arms to move as they creak like a rusted machine and put the bill into the register. Thrust the movie ticket into my pocket. It exhausts my strength just doing that. Stop moving and shut my eyes. The one who surfaces in my mind is Natsuki. She stares at me with a sad expression. My head tingles with pain. My body grows hot and my senses go far into the distance. Now let's be honest here right now. While yes, Nidri is being aggressive, Yes, you are at work right now. That's what I was about to fucking uh, talk about. You're actively interrupting someone during their work hours. And pulling a stunt like that is obviously going to distract them. Rude. Instantly. Very rude. I don't know why my hair is like falling like that there over on this side. It's just an automatic thing. <laughs> Hold on, it's like mildly in Ah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> Watch it fall like that almost immediately again. But I'm over it right now. Call Strofanatsky unless I do at least one person's share of work. Well, look around the store once more in order to settle our feelings down. There are still quite a few customers left. I think I step forward. I don't have a sense of reality. Like I'm walking on top of clouds. But still, I pick up my slack and return to the floor. That's coming. Like Robin Aaron sees a salad for table four. Hi, yo. Relay the order to the kitchen and return to stand by in the corner of the store. Hi, got it. Natsuki holds out water to me with a smile. Huh? Nodo, kawaita desho? You know, as my throat is parched for the first time. Ah, oh, thanks. Except the cup and drink it down in one gulp. I feel the water flowing down my throat to my stomach. Thanks, that helped. Natsuki takes the cup from me and puts it away in, a, in an indifferent manner. About that thing earlier. Natsuki trembles with a twitch as I start to speak. What I started to speak out, I hesitated on my next words. So we felt that Natsuki didn't want to know about the matter regarding the date. It wasn't clear whether she was depressed because of that. So it was surprising earlier. Yeah, I'm fine. So I managed to reply with a smile. Natsuki stares at me. Natsuki also replies with a smile. Natsuki shows me a triumphant pose. Right. I turn my attention to the floor again. Move my body without thinking of anything else after that. I wanted to run away from the swirl of chaos that covered my own heart. Simply just put my body to work. Finish eating dinner and I return to my room soon afterward. I don't remember much of what happened after work. It took all I had to behave like I usually do. My head starts to hurt as I collapse and throw myself on top of my bed. All the joints in my body creaked. But I can't fall sick here. Natsuki will have to cover for me if I collapse. And I'd hate to do that so soon after a trip. I want to avoid that. That's okay. Rubbing my head intensifies. Damn it. I touch something firm inside my pocket as I turn over in my sleep. With the movie ticket I received from Toyama. Toyama's back at Salmon's come... To Toyama's back at Salmon's come to mind behind my... Co comes to mind behind my eyelids. Trying very hard, like a world dependent on it. From the looks of things, I'm probably 
Is it okay for me to think that she likes me? The pain in the head gets even more intense. What should I do? I tell Natsuki about the date in the end. I don't want her to know. Why is that? The pain in my head circles around me. Because it's embarrassing. I said it would feel embarrassing. Embarrassed if I told Fina or Mai about it. But about when it comes about, about when it comes to Natsuki, there's a stronger emotion and embarrassment. Seeing a world comes to, word comes to mind at that instant. Love. Ah, I see. The voice comes out unconsciously. Everything makes sense now. It's simple now that I give it some thought. I didn't want her to think that I was interested in another girl. What I'm interested in is Natsuki. What I love is Natsuki. That's what I wanted to convey to her. The vision spreads. Above. My vision spread and brightens just like I'd come out of a tunnel. The moment I heard that Natsuki had passed her exams. The moment Natsuki departed from Milan. The moment I saw that Natsuki wasn't at Salmon's. The moment Natsuki returned. The emotions I felt then. All that can be explained with an emotion called love. <laughs> My house, at salmons, at school, in TVs, in TV, and books. The subject of love is overwhelming in all parts of this world. Nevertheless, am I this thick-headed when it when it happens to me? I couldn't resist smiling. A refreshing feeling follows along with my smile. My body is wrapped in a comfortable sense of fatigue. I love Natsuki. Illuminate over my emotions again. My consciousness comes to an end on that note. There's a loud ringing noise inside my head as I open my eyes. My joints are creaking too. I'm unable to move like I'm tied to bed. I'll have to take the day off if this doesn't get any better. However, I can't sleep so easily due to the intense pain. <laughs> Hear an energetic voice behind the door. Yeah, I'm awake. I crawl out of bed and head for the door. My head kinda hurts. Might be a summer cold. Mm. Sorry I fell asleep like this. I don't have any Changed by leaning on my desk, then collapse onto my bed again. I don't remember anything after that. Somebody comes into my room. I open my eyes slightly and I see Natsuki's face. Her eyes are red for some reason. Natsuki, what time is it? Let's see if I rest a little bit more then. Maybe... Well, yeah. She flicks my forehead. But... Yeah, it's I worry even more if I get sicker by forcing myself. It's inexcusable, but I'll take the day off. Alright. Sorry. I figured you'd say that. Please don't think like that. It's fine. Let's get ease my bed and sits down on a chair. I recall what I was thinking last night as I watched him watch her move. Like Natsuki. My body flushes with embarrassment as I think that over and over. Uh, this isn't much. She says that firmly. Sorry. Thanks, sir, to have you come here during your break. Cheeks turn less slightly red and she turns away. Also, he thought she looked cute. 
卵がいっぱい入ってて美味しそうだよ体起こせる Let me try. I put my strength about my body, but I can't get up. Let me try. I put my strength about my body, but I can't get up. Let me try. I put my strength about my body, but I can't get up. Let me try. I put my strength about my body, but I can't get up. Let me try. I put my strength about my body, but I can't get up. Let me try. I put my strength about my body, but I can't get up. Let me try. I put my strength about my body, Natsuki draws her hand back with her eyes wide open. No, it's nothing. Natsuki puts her hands on me again. Looks concerned. It's true that I have a fever, but my embarrassment probably has more to do with it. Natsuki pulls up, pulls my upper body towards her. Slowly sit up as she does that. Mia <sighs> has cooked the mono dakara. Natsuki sits down on my bed and dips a spoon into the rice はい porridge. Hi, close your eyes. Ah, to do it. Ma, unhappy. This is a happy feeling. I'm eating this food. I've been eating it for a long time. I'm 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 eating it for a long time. Natsuki didn't hear them. Seems Natsuki didn't hear them. I give up and just do as she says. Uh, I open my mouth and the warm porridge goes in. Warm porridge sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> I couldn't really taste much because of my cold, but I could taste the sesame oil and onion. You're not well chewing. I don't feel like resisting now that she's done it once. I get fed rice porridge several times more. Ah, so do so do, she got any more than I do. So sleepy again now that I've eaten. You got that? Never ever get the game in that area. I'll sleep for a little then. Mm. Ask he gets up and tucks me in. Yes, me. You could be a son, then. Ask he heads for the door. Yeah. Seeing Natsuki leave makes me feel a little disappointed. I certainly didn't think I had these kinds of feelings for her. Natsuki! Huh? Natsuki turns around. Come by again. Eh? Natsuki turns slightly uh, red. Natsuki leaves the room after saying that with a smile. She was kind of cute there. She ran myself to a comfortable slumber when I think that. My room was darker when I opened my eyes. It's because the temperature got sad colder. And my body's come back. Turn my neck with a creak and look at the clock. The clock's illuminated in the dark and says it's past 10 p.m. I'm sure Sam's is closing right now. The clothes I'd flung off suddenly enter my vision. They've been folded. The ticket Toyama gave me is in here. There. Toyama invited me on a date. But I've already worked out my feelings. It's too bad for Toyama, but I have to call off the date. And Tanatsuki, I... I'm going to confess to her. I re realized for the first time, though I like Natsuki, whether Natsuki likes me is a different question. Is it though? Is it though? Is it though? I mean, it is technically, but quite frankly, it's not a question. It's an answer. Namely, the answer being yes. I've always been together with Natsuki. I was aware of being romantically interested in her until yesterday. I suppose it doesn't apply to Natsuki. She probably came to visit me today on the pretext of being my childhood friend. Will Natsuki accept my confession? If she doesn't accept it, will it be a, even will, will it be even possible for our relationship to return to normal? I think about it, but I can't come up with an answer. This is a math problem. There can't be a death for the answer to this. But I do understand one thing. The time that I can be together with Natsuki is limited. Even now, the time I can share with Natsuki is decreasing by the hour. If I'm gonna confess, I better do it early. Tatsuya, are you awake? 
Your hesitant voice. Yeah, I'm up. Natsuki approaches the side of a bed as she says that. I think the pain's come back again. It just hurts just hearing her say that. I'm fine, so let's solve for a bit more. I know I felt so happy about things going my way before. Should I go home? I want you to stay here. Alright. Just thinking that in my head. Just thinking about that in my head. Because the chest of pain makes me insecure of my own words. It makes me feel incredibly happy. <laughs> happy. This must be what it means to fall in love with someone. No, I'm fine. Have you already eaten? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's get talked about the day at Salmon's after that. Things about weird customers, ridiculous things Jin had said. Everyone had eaten. Sounds like any other day. The thing that makes me happiest is how Natsuki is talking to me with her heart and soul. The day changes. Natsuki looks a little sleepy. Natsuki, would it be better? Wouldn't it be better to get some sleep soon? Eh? I was sleeping. Just a little. Sokka. I was fine. Natsuki steps on her own foot as she says that to keep herself awake. Okay, you don't need to force yourself. I've had plenty of fun already. Natsuki says that with a firm tone. Natsuki? Natsuki's expression looks serious. I get it. I don't leave until I'm asleep. It's alright, having you around makes me happy. Natsuki looks down and her earlobes turn red. Sure, good night. Close my eyes. And the sense of sharpness of a vision is cut off. I can hear Natsuki breathing. I can faintly smell her scent. I developed an attentive feeling after that, like I'm being sung a lull lullaby. Never knew time could pass in such relaxation. Consciousness rapidly fades into the distance. I want to relish this time a little longer. I wished for that from the bottom of my heart. But, wish, but my wish was in vain. Consciousness sinks away. Receive a faint voice with them, a comfortable slumber. I hope my eyes slightly. I can see Natsuki there, praying wholeheartedly with something in her hands. It's a charm. She was holding on to it when she took the exams, too, if I remember correctly. I feel like this happened before. <laughs> <laughs> See, she's, she's exaggerating over a mere summer cold. There's my Riley inside my mind. There was absolutely no fastidiousness in her voice. Natsuki's earnest figure was there. Fragments of a prayer echo inside the dark room. The next day, I had recovered enough to be able to work thanks to everyone nurse, everyone's nursing. Natsuki told me to rest another day, but I wanted to show her that I'd improved. It was all I wanted to work with Natsuki. It's after closing time. Jin calls to me after I finished drinking Natsuki's special vegetable juice. Feel fine, thank you very much. Because you don't have anyone to tease. Oh yeah, oh yeah. きつになる病気にでもかかっていたのかね。ま、今日の仕事ぶりを見ると、もう一つ別の病気にかかってしまったようだかね。What? <笑> <笑>あんまり露骨に目で追うと嫌われちゃうかもしれないよ。I'm not really. 
as he and he easily ignores worries of other people who finally find lo, found love. ところで、夏希の様子が一昨日からおかしいんだけど、気づいてるかい？ね、ぼやす。Wouldn't forget about that. It was the day Toyma invited me on a date, but it felt like it was act, she was acting normally when she came to visit me yesterday. Noticed, but she was normal yesterday. 今日は。She's as energetic as ever. そうか。達也君の前では平気なふりということか我が妹ながら可愛いところがあるね重度の恋の病だね悩んでるねおやおや悩ませてる本人がそんなことを言っていいのかいおいおいおいおい、uh, Hold on, Jin、ま頑張りたまえよジェーンちょっと二人とも遊んでないでクローズ手伝ってよはーい、yes. ジェンズグレーニングアメイ誰と映画に行くのかちゃんと考えた方がいいかもしれないねえ、huh? I end up worrying the entire time we close up shop Why does ジェン know about the movie? <laughs> The day to him invited me. I haven't told Natsuki that I've been invited on a date. It didn't seem like Natsuki heard our conversation from where she was standing. She didn't see, Cindy didn't see the ticket I got either. And think of it, where did that ticket go? Uh, a voice comes out with that thing. Natsuki has a suspicious look. No, it's nothing. It really is nothing. そうですか。ナスキ returns to work with a sulky, sulking tone. This is not the size to be at it. After dinner ends, I rush back to my house and dive into my room. I search the pockets of my pants in the corner. There it is. A little papery texture on my fingertips. See, I'm gonna use a movie ticket to take it out. That day, I fell asleep with the ticket still in my pocket. I fell, asleep the, I fell sick the next day. I changed the clothes like Mai told me to. However, I don't remember folding them up, which means somebody folded them for me. But then someone happened to be Natsuki. Ah,、uh, I curse my own stupidity. Even if I can't confirm that Natsuki folded it, I'm sure she'd heard about it from somewhere. When Natsuki asked Jin about the movie indirectly, and Jin was good at guessing, figured out the details. If Natsuki got in a bad mood because she found out about it, maybe that means Natsuki likes me. He just sits there like, wait, hold on. She gets mad because I get this. Why would she get mad because I get this? If she, she, the, the, so she likes me. So this is better than I expect, a、uh, better outcome than I expected.、Uh, anyways, uh, today I'm meeting Toyama. Walk towards the meeting place.、I、couldn't tell Natsuki about Toyama in the end.、I、was thinking of informing Natsuki after I reject Toyama. Yo, Tatcha! o d e k a g e g a i あ、かいな。なんだってそんな怖い顔してんのさ。なつきちゃんと喧嘩でもしたかいだ、だ、だでん。<笑>ま、帰りがけにうちのキュウリでも買って仲直りしてくれよ。How do you make up with someone with a cucumber? See ya. おう、気をつけてな。I mean, country girls make do is what they say. I hate myself for saying that immediately. It's because someone posted a fucking meme picture on Discord recently. It was like, ah,、oh, yes, scavenger girls make do. And then you see the girl just walking off into the sunset with the, like, clearly crooked fucking, <laughs> fucking corn cob in the field. It was just a case of, ugh. <sighs> Massage my own face as I leave the stall. Tell how stiff I've become just by touching my cheeks. Not just nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna meet Toyama in person and tell her that I can't go on a date with her. Of course, I'm nervous. There are many ways to reject someone, such as over the phone or by texting them. But Toyama summoned up the courage to invite me directly. That's why I would reject her face to face. Would Toyama be angry? Or would she be sad? She might even cry. She probably won't speak to me anymore. Up, but feel stiff、uh, while thinking these, about these things. I see Toma's figure as I approach the meeting place. She's sitting down on a nearby bench by the sidewalk. I'm sure she's nervous. She's 
fidgeting with her hands above her thighs. I think Tom is a cute girl. Her appearance is a given. She has a bright personality. But together with her, or being together with her, doesn't tire me out. I wonder what kind of an expression she'll have once I tell her I'm not going to the movies. Do I remember what this expre expression comes to mind? <clears throat> Do I have to refuse her? I head to where Toyama is. Uh, sorry to keep to have kept you waiting. <laughs> Toyama gets up at a fluster and checks her own clothes restlessly. Toyama. Stare at Toyama. Toyama also gazes back. What's wrong is what Toyama's face seems to be asking. Drag my lips back and bite down. Toma's eyes open slightly. And she casts him down in silence. This is the first time I've seen a melancholic expression from Toyama. She seems slightly mature. I'm sorry, I can't. So ka. That's good. Uh, Toyama opens her eyes. So ya, shikata nai su ne. Smiles. It's a brilliant smile. Can't look at Toyama straight like that. Simply bite down on my lips with an apologetic look. Do shita no? Kurai kao shinai. I'm sorry. The voice is croak. It's the complete opposite. Being cheered up by Toyama. There's someone I like. うん。知ってる。ね。他の人は知らないけど、この緑さんの目はごまかせないですよ。ね。Ahem, Toyama, ahem, Toyama puffs her cheeks, uh, chest out with pride, moving like actress. What? Moving like an an, an actress, probably. Asagiri-kun wa, yappa shi Natsuki to issho ni iru no ga niyao yo. Kuyashii kedo ne. So yeah, apparently it's bullshit that Natsuki didn't fall for him all that time back then. Unless she fell for him during the time they were in the same class, which doesn't really make that much sense since she doesn't really show signs of liking him outside of the route, really. But doesn't mean that Natsuki will give me the go-ahead. Hi. Like I said, it doesn't mean that Natsuki likes losing my drive. Uh, Natsuki mo da, kurya. What do you mean? After two, my glares at me. It says that with a smile. Yeah. my ways around. Sorry! About to turn and run like I was escaping from her. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare! Do not! Taku, Anna no Tsukeraretara. Kotiwa. I'm going to find the riders and shoot them in the face. I mean, this isn't as painful as the... as as the Kana... scene in Sin the Knees Are Out. Yeah. Like, yeah, she's gonna be a great writer in the future and all that, but by God, why must you hurt me this way? Especially since I did her route before Zenities. <sighs> I'll go over to the riverbank to cool down. I don't know what I'll say to Natsuki if I don't settle down first. <sighs> Sit down by the bank. So I'm sure strong. That's what I honestly think. She smiled to the end. Like to me, can't mimic her at all. Wind blows by. Rousing cries at his cadas by the trees singing the praises of summer. Summer is the last year I will be spending with Natsuki and Mitsurugasaki. People who graduate from school will be going far away to some college. That's common sense. I couldn't imagine Natsuki would be like that until just recently. Because Natsuki had always been by my side until now. Well, it was just me who thought I'd be with her in the same neighborhood forever. It was too good to be true. Same applied for my family. My father disappeared all of a sudden. His mom passed away. I was put in a complicated situation with my and his son. We managed to live as a family somehow through that. Because of everyone's efforts. You can't, you can't obtain what you want unless you go for it. 
Why did I forget something so obvious? I confess to Natsuki. Bearing since long ago. Time given to me is limited. That's why it would be better to do it early. You might not be able to return to being childhood friends if she rejects my confession. I might be alienated from her. However, I don't want to continue my current relationship with Natsuki. Relationship where both of us feel that the other is special. That's the relationship I want us to be in. Right. I psych myself up and get up. Jin is relaxing in front of Sam and smoking a cigarette. Where's Natsuki, Jin? I have something to tell Natsuki. Jin looks at me with an evaluating stare. Natsuki is sleeping in the room. Ah, she's sick. I said that before. It was a bit of a bad thing. It was a bit of a bad thing, but... She puts out the cigarette in the portable ashtray. She told me before, but... Jin stares at me in silence. He said I was the one who was causing Natsuki to worry. Is that because Natsuki likes me? That's... I'll just say that I do. That's something I'll find out soon. I'm the one who decided to confess. The meaning is there if I know that now. Nah, I'll ask her myself. I said I was staring into Jin's eyes. Jin grins. That's... A thoughtless of me. Would have been str wouldn't be strange for Natsuki to know the date and time of the date if she saw the ticket. She watched me from the Takemizawa house when I left. That's a misunderstanding. I... No. 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 I'm going to do that now. Yeah. So so. Jin takes out another cigarette as he says that. Oh yeah! yeah. Jump out a window! Hell yeah! My room is hot from the setting sun. I don't bother turning on the AC and instead face Natsuki's window. <sighs> the curtain to Natsuki's win room is closed neatly. Sweat gushes out of me due to nervousness. Still, I can't draw back. Take a deep breath and knock on her window. There's no answer. But does anyone feel the presence of a person? Silence. Sweat rolling down my cheeks falls down the gap between our houses. Natsuki's silhouette floats up by the window. Movements are sluggish. I can't sense any of the usual energy she has. Natsuki! There's no answer. Natsuki! Where's that? Goes through the residential area. Window opens and Natsuki pops her head out. Please listen to what I have to say, Natsuki. That's a lie, you know it. Natsuki says that with a smile. I'm sorry. But her eyes are swelled red. She probably wasn't sleeping. Just hurts just looking at Natsuki and acts like nothing had happened. I recalled how Jen told me that nothing good comes out of being thick headed and I'm filled with apologetic emotions. Will you listen to what I have to say if you don't mind? Natsuki's shoulders shake with a twitch. Despite that, she maintains her smile. Something important. It doesn't matter what time. Can you make time for me? I hesitate for an instant, but I feel that it has to be today. I think she'll keep compromising after this way back here, down here. It might be selfish of me, but I want it to be today. Yeah, it's very important. A shadow looms over Natsuki's expression for the first time. She says that quietly. Natsuki puts her hand on the window. I extend my body from my own window as much as I can and reach my hand out, out to her window. I'm in the spur of the moment. I didn't realize what I did until afterwards. Just... It won't take long, so please listen to me. Natsuki grabs onto my arm. I don't care if I fall, just listen to me. Please listen to me. Good. I know. I won't be able to let you 
uh, to tell you what I have to say before you. Baka. A game of posture after some effort with Natsuki's help. The two of us are dripping with sweat. Natsuki says that with discontent. I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to do it on purpose. She declares that firmly. Natsuki's eyes are brimming with tears. I'm sorry. <laughs> Natsuki's words penetrate deeply into my heart. I won't. I won't act reckless. Natsuki nods many times to what I said. I'm walking with Natsuki in the shopping district at night. It's because I saw Natsuki's tears. So I'm supposed to convey my feelings has disappeared. And it's place the feelings of treasuring Natsuki has taken root deep within me. Look at Natsuki walking beside me. She's walking while staring at the ground with a stiff expression. Let's sit down. Mm. This is the first time we've spoken since we left the house. We land up and sit down. We stare at the moonlight that's quietly reflecting on the river's surface. Alright. Went to meet up with Toyama today. day. Because she invited me to the movies at Salmon's last time. Natsuki stares at the river surface in silence, but I'm able to read our emotions from her expression. I turned her down. Eh? Natsuki stares at me in amazement. What? Because I thought Natsuki thinks I like Toyama. I have to tell her straight up without hiding it. Because I like you, Natsuki. The wind runs through the riverbank because it sensed a uh, meaningful emotional moment happening. The wind runs through the... I already read that. Natsuki's hair flutters in the breeze because an emotional, impactful moment happened. Uh, Natsuki keeps staring at me without paying mind to her hair hitting her face. Telling it just making her face feel the impact of the moment. I'm, <laughs> I'm being an ass right now. Uh, because you're important to me. So no. Natsuki stops moving. Tears well up in her eyes. They roll and fall down from her cheeks. And plop onto her knees. Ureshi. She mutters. Natsuki wipes the corner of her eyes and smiles. And do you like me? Natsuki's face has slowly dyed the color of cherries. And consciously want to touch her young warm skin. <laughs> Why did I make it sound so creepy at the end there? <laughs> I'm used to seeing Natsuki going deep red, but this is the first time I've seen her blush like this. <sighs> Natsuki nods, just hot and tingly. I feel that peaceful, deep sense of accomplishment. The heater rises up to my fingertips. I'm glad. That had a sigh of relief. Natsuki's face distorts in pain. It's fine, Natsuki. That's the kind of person I fell in love with. Natsuya. That's not very nice, though. <laughs> Natsuki smiles broadly. I don't recall my family members, Jin and Toyba, all noticed how Natsuki and I felt. They urged me to figure it out while teasing me. I sure I'm fortunate to be surrounded by such people. Be that way from the bottom of my heart. Natsuki? Nani? Can you go out with me? Natsuki's expression stiffens as she hears my serious tone. I'm okay with that. Natsuki looks fondly at me. I slowly reach my hand out to Natsuki's cheek. Natsuki shoots her body close, scoots her body closer to me. My fingertips touch her cheek. Her skin is fit and tense. Natsuki puts her hand on mine. Like she's ushering me in. Natsuki. My hand fits neatly on her cheek. This is the first time I've touched you like this. I that's the first time I've heard her sweet voice. My mind becomes vacant and heats up. Our free hand... hands grip each other's. Natsuki's hand is moist with sweat. I love you. Mm. Natsuki shuts her eyes. A gulp, and it goes blank. This is between us shrinks like magnets attracted to each other. Approach Natsuki's thin, slightly open lips. 
And they fucking go for it. HELL YEAH! Just it's gone. I feel the I feel the feeling of her soft and tender lips. Body temperature coming from the the crevice of her mouth. The ticklish warmth of her faint breathing. The sweet scent of her hair. The heat of her grasped hands. It all but envelops me and becomes one. The sensation of tranquility and excitement blends together, heating up my body up. I wonder if Natsuki's feeling the same way. Grasp her hand tightly because I wasn't sure. Natsuki squeezes back immediately after. I feel relief from just that. Natsuki gives my hand a squeeze this time. Does she feel uneasy in some way? I immediately squeeze back. Natsuki's breathing heats up a little. I'm well relieved. I was the only one who was getting heat up from kissing. Natsuki also feels happy to kiss me. He's reacting to my existence. Makes me, that makes me feel very happy. We kiss while squeezing each other's hands or hand over and over. So much time has passed since we started kissing. My body feels really sweaty by the time our lips part. The wind, the night wind, feels pleasant on my burning body. Natsuki speaks out while grasping my hand. Natsuya, can Sure. When <laughs> Eh, yeah, that's kind of embarrassing. Natsuki says that cheerfully. Only if you tell me first. I'll tell you then. I don't know exactly when. But from what I'm aware, I think it was when Toyama invited me on a date. Yokata. Keko Saiki Nanda ne. Natsuki looks relieved. What's so good about that? You're right. You got bad now. What about you? Liar. Don't joke around at a time like this. She looks at me with upturned eyes. Okay, tell me. えっと、私が自覚したのは、ミラノに行った時かな。大学が決まった直後だったから、お別れの予行練習みたいな気分になっちゃって。I didn't realize my own feelings for a long time on top of that. I was sure it was... I'm sure it's because I'm thick-headed. Natsuki smiles wryly. We've always been together ever since we were kids. You could always tell what the other was thinking without even asking. We had a safe zone of sorts when we could comfortably spend time together. But now I'm falling... I've fallen in love with Natsuki. I realized that some things have to be conveyed through words. Because we're now stepping into a new relationship, one that we haven't had before. It feels like we'll be leaving our safe zone for good. So we go on a walk? Uh. We stand up, still holding hands. Let's go then. Uh. We start walking around the streets at night, holding hands. And thus, we step out of our safe zone. For the sake of our special someone. By the way, I got a good mech trick for how long I'm going to record today. Namely, until this bottle is empty. <laughs> we already have two fucking thumbnail options. And of course, I'm going to pick the first one because I still think it's hilarious. How she's like sitting, standing there looking in horror. As he's cashing in Toyama's fucking bill. For the food. And she's just looking on as if she just handed over their fucking newborn. 
<laughs> or like a fucking like, ah yes, here's pregnancy test, you're the dad. Uh, and she just looks off to the side like, oh nah. Like, <laughs> she's just paying. You're not aware of the ticket yet. <laughs> like, come on, my girl. Jesus. The next day, anyways. We had a big birthday party for my and Miss Salmons. Was I intoxicated of the atmosphere of the party? At to my own room. I'm feeling like I'm walking on clouds. <sighs> a big sigh and erase the remaining excitement left from the party. What if Natsuki's still up? Natsuki's twice as enthusiastic when it comes to other people's celebrations. She might be burned out and already asleep for the night. Open the curtains. Uh? Uh. Natsuki also opens her curtains at the same time. Exchange glances with their mo mouths closed. Uh, good work today. Thanks to you livening things up. Well, I was wondering what you were up to. So, I Natsuki smiles. I want to touch your smiling face. However, there's one meet there's a one meter gap between us. We're quite far apart right now. Gotta get closer to her. Tatsuya. Natsuki stares at me. It's a little different from before. Kinda makes my heart thump. Good thing for it. I used to go to your room when we were kids. I suppose I was more nimble back then. <laughs> I've looked down for the first time just now. Natsuki smiles. The round eyes are still on me. Like I'm getting sucked into them. I want to touch her. I want to touch her body and kiss her again. I can't stop my desires from arising. I wonder if everyone feels this way when he's falling in love with someone. Ne, ne, Tatsuya. Uh, what? We all talk to each other in a slightly awkward manner. Remember? <laughs> I remember. I don't remember exactly when it was, but I remember not changing clothes once when I came through the window. I haven't forgotten the terror you showed me even now. I went in every day back then, didn't I? Natsuki looks at me with a solo expression. I gaze back at her. <laughs> she smiles broadly. Smile as bright as a sunflower. Yeah. Hmm. Natsuki's cheeks are faintly dyed red. She roots her eyes out of embarrassment. What is she trying to say? Are Jikonishte. She says that with a very tiny voice, thin voice. Let it pass. Couldn't understand what she meant and kept staring at her. She puffs out her cheeks while blushing shyly. I only understand what she meant. In other words, I'm coming over. Mm. Natsuki gets away from the window. Put my feet on the window frame. The body is much bigger from back then. The size of the window frame is more of a problem than the distance from Natsuki's room. Here I come. So I extend my feet to step into Natsuki's room from the window. It was closer than I thought. I reach out my hand and grab the pain from the sa inside. Gambatte. Natsuki smiles. The times when we weren't man and woman, but kids. The first one to grow up was Natsuki. And the Natsuki's room, I utterly ignorant of that. Then it became forbidden for me to go in. If you think about it, that might have been the moment we realized we were male and female. I'm crossing over that boundary line for the second time now. It's not that we've returned to the past. I'm entering Natsuki's room as a man. Uria! Draw my arms in and pull myself into Natsuki's room. Oh, me got the... the landing was a six. Ah! Her foot is swept off her thick carpet. <laughs> I collapse onto Natsuki's bed along with her. I'm sorry. Oh my. 
ちょっと痛かったけど。Like, that's fine, it only hurt a little. It just sounds like, ah, I don't, don't worry about it. I just got a minor sprain from that. So I won't be walking for like a few fucking minutes. You know, thank you. It's still uncomfortable. Fuck you. <laughs> Natsuki's voice changed. Joan was one I've never heard before. Very sweet. Mind numbing. Natsuki sits up from under me. Breeze that blows by that instant fills the air with a fruity aroma. Natsuki. Mm -hmm. The man's behind Natsuki as if to pull her closer. And I hold her tight. Oh! Oh no! He gone fug. Yes, it has to be a G specifically. Jesus Christ, I just said be like a big old fucking message. Jesus Christ, uh, hold on. Front half of my body is filled with arms and sash. Katsuya. Atatakai. You too? Mm. Masaka. Katsuya to kona hu ni naru nante ne. Asuki holds my arm close. Couldn't imagine it at all either. Chichai koro kara. Issho datta no ni ne. Is it because we've been be together? Doesn't it give you the sense that we're friends? So ka mo shire nai ne. でもさ、友達からよく<笑> Natsuki loses her pressure. Loosens her pressure. Who oh, I thought I was going to be crushed to death. Asatsu to ka iwanai no! Probably she could lean on me again. Yada, chutto! Tickle her armpit. Dame! Dame, 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 dame! Natsuki flails above me. Hmm? Do you give up? Take this! Gome nasai! Gome nasai! Good. Dame! Kusuguri yowai ka mo! I'll be tickling you from now on if you do something weird then. それは勘弁して. Natsuki goes limp. Is this something that lovers do? どうかな?知らない. Oh, we are messing around in your room though. じゃれあって? I can't see her face, but I can tell she's going red. じゃ、じゃれあってはないんじゃないかな? No matter how I look at it, we're messing around. We've been having unproductive conversations for a while. This is probably how we enjoy spending our time. Natsuki, hold Natsuki again. What? <laughs> Nothing. Natsuki giggles. I suddenly hear the sound of someone coming upstairs. Oh crap. 
I separate from Natsuki and return to my own room in a hurry. I hear the explosive sound of the wooden spoon. Does she just keep an arsenal in her room? Did I just accidentally rhyme? Oh no. Hold on. I just sent like some fan art of the new Pokemon Gym Leader that was revealed for Pokemon. As Scar Scarlet and Violet. It's just her on a fucking computer. Just yelling shit. <laughs> while playing something. It seems. And they responded to the picture saying. Gamer. And I reply. Worse. An influencer. <laughs> <sighs> I'm honestly not looking forward to her again. What the fuck? Katazuita, yo. Good work. Moneru? I suppose so. Hmm? Natsuki reaches out her hand and lightly grasps mine. Good night. Gives me a squeeze and then let's go. So so. Asta, Fina ga uchi de baito suru n datte. Sooner things brings Fina up. I have no idea why. Uh, you don't say? Fina, kito kire da to omou kedo. Uaki nante shitara. Dame da kara ne? Natsuki stares at me with a perfect mischievous look. Obviously, I won't cheat. Wouldn't cheat on you. Yoroshi! Sorry, my window after a little reluctance. Natsuki's faint silhouette reflects upon the curtains and blurs and disappears. Looks like she went away from the window. An extremely warm feeling runs through me as I recall the sensation of Natsuki's body. Looks like I'll be able to get a good night's sleep today. I didn't know I was on a fucking menu. I hear a faint noise within my pleasant slumber. I open my eyes slightly. The morning sun beams through my curtains, brightening up my room. There's no reason to wake up early. Sleep until my long alarm clock rings. I shut my eyes again. I hear a noise nearby. My alarm not go off. Oh, Kira! Ah! Something suddenly plopped. Something suddenly plopped on top of me. Except in a panic. Dud. Yeah. And Natsuki, who was sitting on top of me, falls down to the floor. I da 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 da. Natsuki? Oh, oh, hi you. Are you okay? Kega wa nai kedo. Ikinari okinai de yo. I mean, uh, anyway, what are you doing here? Natsuki suddenly smiles. I'm already awake, though. <laughs> People can get, can pretty much see your panties from below if you cross the balcony in that outfit. She says that in embarrassment. Didn't you jump over here? Just pray that there weren't any pedestrians. Natsuki 
Nesson looks concerned. The alarm clock fell off the floor when I tried to turn it off. So, Naro, I can do. Choshok no yoi ga dekte re kara, mijitaku shita ra kite ne. Sure. <sighs> Asuki squirms under a blanket. It can come out now. <laughs> Asuki comes out blushing. <laughs> oh no, is she a high on that damn dear Tatsuya stank? Why <laughs> they worded like that? <laughs> that surprised me. Why are you holding your breath on the day, Natsuki? <laughs> Natsuki seems embarrassed for some reason. What's wrong? Oh, sorry. Probably stinks of sweat. I just got a little bit. Natsuki crawls away from the bed. What does she mean by that? I have no idea what she's talking about. Let's go to the bedroom. Sure, see you at Sam's later. Asuka turns to the window. Ah, so that. She turns around. What's up? Atsuki approaches me. Uh, and kisses me lightly on the forehead. Asuki leaves the window while I'm in a daze. Keep staring at the curtains as they flutter from the morning wind. I come to my senses, my face is hot, my head is dizzy. This might be what you meant by being affected. I don't want that, that while rubbing my forehead. Fina's working part time today. I clock on my shift earlier than usual, and all the staff are preparing to open the shop. We're eagerly waiting on Fina to make her appearance. About what? I'm sure she'll work with her utmost effort. Oi, oi, oi. Boka kikitai no wa so you koto janai yo. She makes, he makes a good grief type get just chat. Fina chan to Natsuki, dotchi ga niyau to omo u ってことさ. What? What a frightening thing to say. He definitely understands that it'll cause trouble no matter which way I answer. Do shita no? Aoi kao shite. Nah, it's nothing important. Ah, chotto shita kajuu jikken da yo. Huh? Fina chan to Natsuki de, Natsuki stands beside me. She looks at me. I feel like she uh, has a rather dangerous expression. I don't think that's true, but it looks like she's coming. She and me appear with splendid timing. Ah, I forgot. This is cute. She has a joy come for the backyard nearby. She <laughs> appears with a little blush on her cheeks. The identified atmosphere she carries and the comfortable uniform with a lovely design. The gap between the two gives forth a unique sense of presence. But Natsuki and I are fascinated for an instant. Natsuki must have an admiration. Fina says that with a calm smile. I was surprised that Fiend is naturally modest. How are you, Tatsuya-kun? I think they both look good in different ways. What's that bizarre insult? Nii-san, Tatsuya doesn't really hate me. This guy would be funny if at some point he just stares at her like... He just tries to pull something like that. I forgot his name for a second. Jin, thank you. Jin just tries to pull something like that and he's just like... Listen up, I'm not affected by teasing anymore, so I will beat the sh start, start to beat the shit out of you when you do this. Alright. Good. Well, I'm gonna have to learn how to throw aiming spoons. <laughs> that, that seems to be a family tradition. That don't... So this <laughs> you. She speaks out to me, who was waiting behind her the whole time. Right, this happened in the figuring out the emotions part of Fina's round. What then? The whole like, ah, yes, he's going to rip off Jin's dick and stuff down his throat so he chokes on it. 
thing during the practice. I don't know why I decided to go that fucking hard, but uh, I apparently did. Fucking like Mario 64 meme with the uh, Patrick and Manta Ray. Like, aren't you? Aren't you mother of this penguin? Yep. And this is your child. Yep. Found this penguin on top of Cool Cool Mountain. This must be your child. That makes sense to me. Then take it. That's not my baby. She looks nothing like me. Her parents must be worried sick. <laughs> Yeah, finding the right mo uh, right penguin on the first try was a massive pain in the fucking ass, quite frankly. Anyways, uh. Iko, Mia chan. Hi, Mina sama, usugoto ganbatte kudasai. Eh, ashi de matou ni nara nai yo, seippai ganbaru wa. So yu wake de, omae ra mo tanomu zo. Floor de iin da yo ne. Ah. So, I One spoon draws near Jin as he tries to take Fina's hand. He crumbles down in silence. Fina! I'm going to Fina gives a light bow. I'm a little nervous since the atmosphere is different from usual. Let's do our best. We'll do fine knowing you. Thank you. Sure, I suppose I should introduce her to the basics first. Right, I'll stand at the entrance, so greet me like a customer. Fina stands deeper inside, and I'm upset at the entrance. Well, go on. Beautiful, sharply pronounced greeting. Her voice is a little low. Use my hands to make an I can't hear you gesture with my ears. By my ears. Noski guesses what I mean and coaches Fina. Her voice is louder than before, but there's a sense of nervousness. Yeah, this time make it a little louder. Venus training progresses. It's a few hours past dinner time. Venus is absorbed in new information like a, uh, absorbs the new information like a sponge sucking up water. Of course, it's not only the way she works. Customers are fascinated again and again by her elegance coupled with her lovely figure. Tatsuya! Tatsuya! Oh, yes? Natsuki speaks in a low voice. Why? I'm just seeing how the new hire is doing. Sokka! Asuki turns away in a fluster. Her cheek, her neck turns red. Are you jealous? Asuki looks down apologetically. Don't worry, you're the one I like. Whisper that in Natsuki's ear. No flirting on the clock! Natsuki turns even redder. Sure thing! We separate from each other in a hurry. Nobody can tell who the new hire is if we're like this. Each one of us returns to work with a bit of smile. <laughs> the corner of my eyes. It's just look. Like, those windows were just straight up, like, plastered shut. <laughs> Instead of just these very weird, like, fucking... I don't know what to call them. Blinds, that's the word. I'm fucking retarded. Uh, dinner ends and I return to my room. I immediately head towards my window, not bothering to change out of my uniform. Light returns on just then. Natsuki approaches the window right after that. Yo. Good 
work. Natsuki stares at me with a smile. Return her gaze. Natsuki's own hair is transparent through the light. The beautiful hair that I want to comb. So I slightly in the midsummer wind. Get embarrassed to avert my eyes. Hi, that's your market. Natsuki smiles with satisfaction. Huh? Niramekko da yo? I don't know that. Ino, ino. Ja, maketa bats to shite. Make me do so. Eh? Natsuki reaches her hand out from the window. I'd be willing to hold her hand at any time, even without a staring contest. Take Natsuki's hand while thinking that. Her hand moves and her fingers intertwine. And suddenly she pulls back and folds her to my death. Arigato! <laughs> She, she, she was the blue spy. Yeah, you get it because because her clothes look red, so she kind of looks like she's on the red team. Smiles broadly with satisfaction. I could feel Natsuki's body temperature through her hand heating up my body. Fina, I don't know why I'm to talk like that. Hmm? Yeah. Reply, reply honestly. It's because we're holding hands. It doesn't feel like a line to work. She's feeling jealous again. It's to be expected of her. You wanted to? Natsuki smiles. <laughs> a little sad if that's the case. I told you this sounds, but no matter how pretty other girls are, you're the one I love. I'm not joking, that's how I seriously feel. <laughs> not sure what's not fair about this, but now it's getting mumbles becoming weak. Natsuki swings her hands around. Plies, she does that. What is? You know what Natsuki's trying to say? We should be talking while holding hands across the window like this. But we feel a sense of security, of sense of security from within ourselves just from that. I never thought that this would happen until a few days ago. I'm sure I wouldn't have believed it. Even if someone tried to tell me either. I think it's a little strange too. Oh my god, this is just like, they said there's just one meter between their windows. They need to just like me need to make like a one meter plank, which is just, okay, it's like maybe like, uh, it's like two, one set, two centimeter thick plank with like, to where they put it on the windowsill itself. And then, like, because... Oh, actually, no, the windowsill itself doesn't have a platform below it. So that wouldn't really help. But yeah, basically, you just... And with, like, two planks on the side and one in the middle underneath to, like, give it some additional stability. And you can just, like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm coming over. Each side gets one. <laughs> it's a little strange too. Natsuki squeezes my hand tightly. Say, wanna go on a date next time? Natsuki cries out loudly. You're being too loud. What are you getting embarrassed for? Window on the first floor of my house opens before our eyes. It's Fina's room. We freeze up. She screams louder than Natsuki did. My hands, because there's a gang girl holding hands right over her head. Fina follows me and pokes her head out. <laughs> Fina's lovely face twitches. <laughs> I 
I hear the sound of people coming out to the garden. Do, do Isn't this a good opportunity to explain everything? So, so ne. Natsuki mm. rouses herself up, <laughs> but I was just pretending to be calm. Really? I feel kind of gloomy. Uh, 30 minutes later, all parties involved are gathered in Asagi household's living room. The two of us are sitting straight up on the sofa. So, Jin calls out to me with a co like a congressman. We're going out. A number of sighs escapes uh, escape from the living room. Mm. Well, we haven't thought that far ahead yet. Not to cast her eyes down. <laughs> Pop spews out tea. I think he just, think he just took uh, meant, uh, I think he just took a few points of psychic damage there. No comment. That's not a serious answer that needs to be needs to be asked though. Anyway, I'll turn eyes turn on me. I'm not going out with her half hearted with half hearted feelings. I'm taking my relationship with Natsuki very seriously. Ma, それはあまり心配してないんだが、浮気できるほど器用ではないからね、達也くんは。He wouldn't be good at it anyway. 私は応援したいと思いますけど。私も応援するよ。うん。My emphasis. フィーナ様はどう思われますか。フィーナ、who's been silent the whole time is queued in。私が発言してよろしいのでしょうか。はい、家族ですから。もちろん、ミアちゃんもね。え、え、私もですか。I tense up。私は。お似合いのカップルだと思うわ。See a slight shadow of gloom on。Fina's expression as she says that. Watashima so Salmon brings this to a conclusion in a slightly loud voice. Thanks, Pops. Bob says that with a solemn voice. I understand. Hi. <laughs> like Nats Natsuki looks down on embarrassment. Like I, what? What if instead of like actually like just I understand? He's like, don't worry, contraceptives will be used. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki just looks over like Tatsuya, what the fuck? Dewa, oitoma shimashoka. So dana. Mia cha, ocha oishkata yo. Hi, arigato gozaimas. Sumimasen, oso ijikani. In da yo. Ja, watashimo ikune. Sure, see you tomorrow. Natsuki gets, gets up, following after Pops and Jin, and they leave the living room. Honest to God, I would hate having to sit on this couch, mainly because I hate chairs without, like, a backrest. <laughs> chairs without a backrest will automatically, automatically make me sit in, like, a weird way that makes my back hurt <laughs> really quickly. It's a pain in the ears. Anyways. While the Asagini household remains, everyone's quiet, waiting for someone to break the silence. Yokatawane, Tatsuyaku. 
えおめでとうお兄ちゃん二人ならきっと幸せになれるわお二人のこれからが楽しみですフィナス just like listen up I don't care if I have to come down here from the moon when the time is ripe but you will invite me to your wedding I will make this the moon's problem if you do not fucking invite me to, it, to your wedding I, w I will know I will know and I will crash the wedding with like multiple ambassadors and like easily half the royal treasury in fucking marriage in like fucking wedding gifts gifts so just tell me it's better for everyone <laughs> Everyone gives us their blessings. I thought they'd scold me for sure. For some reason. Uh, thank you, everyone. I'm really happy. My eyes feel a little wet. I'm crying now. はい。それでもゲットアップ。アップホンド。どうしました？フィッツスタップ。Sorry <笑> そうでしょ、ミア。はい。私も同じように思います。だから、夏木と精一杯楽しんで。Thank you. Legs itching. For some reason, my hand isn't enough, so I have to fucking use the goddamn gun to itch my leg. I spilled a bit. Deja vu again. Anyways. Hmm. So Good night. Fatigue suddenly hits me when I return to my room. Asuki's face when comes to mind while I lay down on my bed. I can't talk across the window window immediately after having that discussion. Ask I can text her. I can put myself from from a desk and type in a message. Ask thinks of the day's events. She angry. Such worries spin around in my head. That's what I wrote in the end. I'm glad we spoke to everyone today. Let's get along from together from now on. I reached for the send button after reading it over a few times. Put my eyes away from myself when I see Nachan's figure leaving the garden. Pops and Jin come out from Natsuki's house. See them meet together in front of the road and disappear somewhere. Probably discussing what to do from here on. Probably causing concern for many different people. That's what I realize. My cell phone shakes as I roll around in bed. It's a reply from Natsuki. I strain my hot blood emotions and read the text. I'm glad we talked about it too. Let's keep going. Good night. <laughs> I let a big sigh. My body's enveloped in a 
warm senses of security. But I can uh, try at least. I can try my best tomorrow. Goes by, still holding my cell phone. No, actually, thinking about it, they're always like, oh no, she's gonna be gone in spring. Which, yes, she's still gonna be gone, but isn't it like summer at the moment? <laughs> After yesterday's event events, I arrived at Salmon's earlier. Like, yeah, it's late summer, considering that it's August. So. Anyways. Yesterday's events, I arrive at Sam's earlier than you. Oh, Tatsuya-kun, it's fast, isn't Yes, there's something I can help out with. So dana. Looks around the floor. Oji, Tatsuya-kun got it. Yesterday's events, I arrive at Sam's earlier than you. No, I didn't. Is it different? You are. Oi, oi. Calm down, Oji. 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 He has me a notepad. I'm going to go! Nautica comes out from within the house. Oh, that's it! Ha 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 ha! It's a bit of a shame. The older people are the young people. You're not going to be a bad guy. It's okay, let's go. Hi! Alright, let's go. We, li we line up and leave Salmon's. It's good, it's a good idea. The relationship is so long, I don't think it's going to be a long time. I don't think it's going to be a long time. No, no. There's a lot of trouble. That's not going to be a long time. Well, if those two are going to be a long time, I want to be a long time. I want to be a long time. You want to be a long time to get married soon. No, no. I'm not the real thing. 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 Two of us are walking beside each other under the scorching sun. Memo, look at it. Sure, here. Hmm. For this, Yaoya is okay with you. I'm used to this as I expected. I've been buying from the past. I don't know that you weren't charged with shopping until recently. Ma, so you got to marry you. You sure are admirable. You do this shopping at the same time as coming home from with me from school. Ha ha! Hold me, te mo nani mo de na yo. Something knows the shopping basket Natsuki's holding. I'll hold on to that. Eh? Iyo. Mada nani mo hai te nai shi. I'll hold on to the whole time. So koma de shite mo ra wa nak te mo ii desu. Feel like I'm being refused. Whatever then. Natsuki glances at my face. She's wondering if she hurt my feet. Yeah, sir. Half. 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 Then there's like one tiny one on each side, but those were usually for like fucking wood or shit. I've never fucking seen like a two-handed wicker basket that's like used for shopping. The fuck are you talking about? Hold up, hold up. Wicker basket with two handles. That's one handle! That is, that is one fucking handle! Okay, those are two handles. Those are two handles, technically. Yeah, th those are two handles. Okay, like, th there we go. There's two handles right there. But that, that one, that one right there, that's a fucking one handle. Make a basket. Same with that one. Are you fucking dare you lie to me? Right, like that. Jesus fucking Christ. Think I wanna fucking find you, beat the shit out of you? Sure as fucking hell I'm gonna do that now. I literally have one of those. That was, ex that was expensive, Jesus Christ. Actually, no, we don't have that one. It's uh, it's a lot more shallow than the one we have. <sighs> anyway. 
And so we all don't want to hand leech. Mm. Hand leech. That's embarrassing. Motsu って言ったのは達也でしょ。接中案接中案。You guys don't have a choice. We're the only grab on grab onto the handle. We walk beside each other. Grasp the handle with my right hand. One ask if you using her left. Walking through a shopping district like that. Naturally. Ah, Natsuki-chan. Naka ii wa ne. People call out to us. That's nothing more embarrassing than that. I think sweat is pouring all over my body. Oji-san, konnichiwa. Oh, Natsuki-chan. The old geezer stops moving as he sees us. Uh, well, this is.、Uh... Yeah! Yoyaku ka! <laughs> I like how he's just standing there, like, oh, hey, you came early today. Well, about fucking time. <laughs> anyway,、uh, I assume he smiles broadly. I forgot to read that one. I'd expect this kind of atmosphere from the beginning. Well,、uh, now that、I've, he's noticed, I'm sure quite a lot of people are shopping this street will know as well. My vision grows dark from my own thick headedness. Natsuki seems happy as she says that. Bet to Natsuki and hand him the notepad. Hey, wait, 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 Not、uh, on and not on the notepad into the basket, one after another. We don't use small watermelons in the restaurant. Yeah, u c h i d e k u e Hi, Arigato, Ojisa. Odaiwa memo ni kaite aru dake de i kara yo. Nasuki hands him money from her wallet. The basket is filled with vegetables, vegetables, and more vegetables. Fucking watermelon is fruit, though. <laughs> it, it looks like we'd be doing some heavy lifting in our way now. On our way home. After walking away from the green grocery stall, I sense Natsuki glancing at me for some reason.、Oh, so、Follow her gaze, and I see the town real estate office. That's right, Natsuki leaving once spring comes. So excited、uh, over us going out that I'd forgotten all about it. Probably wanted to forget about it. Natsuki slows down slightly and looks at the poster. Should be a problem with stopping to take a look when it comes to time, but Natsuki doesn't st stop. <gasps> Natsuki lets out a sigh and tears her, tears her eyes away from the poster. What's wrong? She says this in a panic. Really? I hope not. She cuts off the conversation. I also don't dare to approach the topic. Alright, let's go. I found myself up and started walking. However, a slight pain lingers in my chest. At times when I want to see Natsuki, but I can't. Just how anxious will I feel? It's really sad when she went to Milan. Look at Natsuki. Oh? どうしたの Nothing. But I've gone out with her, knowing it would come to this. I feel like I'd be betraying Natsuki if I told her not to go at this stage. She'll move to her university and then we'll have a long distance relationship. Listen up, motherfucker. She's literally like maybe an hour train's ride away from what you fucking told us earlier. You could fucking do that on the weekend if you feel like doing it. My man's cocky, however! And I'm not gonna continue that because it'll be spoilers for Wagamama High Spec and it's currently on sale if I remember correctly. So go buy it right now and、uh, in hopes of finally making sex on projects. I'm gonna translate the cut. Damn fan disc. Just do it! I need to do our added routes as well as fucking Sakuragi fan, fan disc after. There's a proposal scene that I know it's gonna be in there already. And I need it in my life! I never knew about the final H scene and、uh, he eats her out in Wagamama where they're just absolutely sloshed because they yoinked a wine bottle from the restaurant. 
<laughs> Anyways, uh, what can I do to overcome this hurdle? I have no clue right now. I got to go walk the Italians after dinner. What? It's nice how you girls don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> Talk to them as I attach their leash. <laughs> <laughs> Italians suddenly turn behind me and wag their tails. Must be Natsuki if they're this happy. Just as I thought Natsuki standing there when I turn around. Yeah. Wanna come with? Uh. And not uh, Natsuki ought to be at this leash. Oh, she actually works two days in this one. Natsuki speaks out in her usual manner. Yeah, there's nothing left to teach her. Fina had promised to work for three days. It's only been two days, but Fina has already become very capable. I do? So yo? Him? Try to imagine Natsuki uh, dressed in a suit and wearing glasses. Smiling catch. I I was just imagining you wearing a suit. Okay, hold on, let me just imagine, and it's hot. Fuck. <laughs> Listen, I am both in the full suit. I'm both into the hot, uh, like, uh, mature woman in full suit with pants, and into the Mature woman in full suit with pencil skirt. I am down for both. Both is insanely fucking hot. And I'm drunk probably because I'm talking too much again. Anyways. Osoraku. I think you're fine when you're friendly in your own way. So? I like it. Men to mukate. Nande so na koto yu kana. Ne. She gives out a Biata's leash a shake. Ah, oh, no, she says. Mm. How dare you! The real silk over elm trees rustle, shaken by the wind. And this is the last scene of the taste part, it seems. Visually, and most likely in practicality, this bad is cooler than the others. You walk slowly by the bank as the wind blows past. What, th what times will I be able to walk here with Natsuki? Can't help but think that. Well, considering that it's currently like August, you know, quite some time, really. It's going in spring. Spring won't start until fucking March. At the very least, got like half a year, which is quite a lot. You know, I mean, it, I, it's quite a lot at their age, you know. I remember the time when I felt like ages until like a month passed. And now I'm over here like, fuck, another year gone? Jesus Christ, death is approaching. <laughs> and that's even though I'm just 22. 21. 22? 22. Yeah, 22. I'm going high. I'm, I, I am high. Why am I still thinking I'm 21? Listen up, I'm fucking... I'm dumb sometimes. I can't think. <sighs> sometimes you just gotta forget things. Okay? Okay. Okay. Don't laugh at me. I'll fucking gut you. <laughs> Anyways. Gotta think that... Can we hold hands? Huh? <laughs> It's not that, I just feel like it. Respond with disappointment. Natsuki takes my hand. Feel her warmth. Meh. Nah. Leaves you by the nose. Tatsuya-san, kaidashi no toki. Natsuki gets dark after walking for a bit. Watashi ga fudousan yasan mite da no. I mean, who wouldn't look at oh, who wouldn't look at Kiryu like that? Oh wait, 
This is like the 19, like fucking 80s, I think it was. What the fuck? That's the Yakuza Zero play again. Hold on. This work doesn't work. This fucking joke doesn't work unless I, I know all the fucking things. Oh, oh, I still have the online dice roller open. What if I, what if I used like a D20 for my stats? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> those are dog shit. Eight, seven, nine, five, fifteen, ten. You know what? I'm giving myself a real roll there because that was dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that one's better. At least it's six, eight, three, sixteen, seventeen, twenty. So it is like the ultimate min max barbarian, quite frankly. <laughs> I mean, this would make for a good barbarian. Like, uh, you want the damage dealer barbarian? Twenty in strength. You want the fucking tank barbarian? Twenty in fucking constitution. Just like that! And who knew... Uh, intelligence? Who really... Who really... Uh, 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 and charisma? Who really needs charisma? Three into charisma. This man is literally a bumbling fuck. And of course, eight is into wisdom because you still know how to... You got, still need fucking perception to be at least kind of good. Because if perception is bad, you're fucked. Uh, and then, of course, the six is intel intelligence, because uh, you still need to be, like, here's the thing, usually the dumpster will be intelligent, but <laughs> you don't want to go below six on intelligence, because that's uh, that's when you lose your fucking, uh, your sapience. <laughs> oh, and this, those stands are actually kind of good. I rolled on the 46 drop low, it's just down to 16, 16, 14, 17... 9-7. What the fuck happened to me looking up when fucking Yakuza 0 plays? I get distracted way too fucking easily. Hold on. Uh, when does Yakuza 0 play? Uh, that's the age you that. Um... Take place, maybe, instead of play. Take place. Uh, December 1988. So it's right in saying the 1980s. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Thinking that there was no use in hiding it, I reply honestly. I'm sure you're trying to get it. Natsuki bows. Don't get it. I'll be inclined to say, why are you apologizing? That's why I'm not going to be here. She asked me with concern from the bottom of her heart. Seems like Nazi was making an effort to avoid bringing up things related to college, too. I'll feel uneasy when it happens. That's right. I too. But you know, I would have gone out with you to begin with if I just liked worrying about you. I said it like I was persuading myself. It's not like I have to feel uneasy. My unease keeps swelling inside my heart instead. But still, I don't want to say things that will impede Natsuki's progress towards her dream. Like, here's something actually my uh, my parents told me. That uh, they when they started going out, they only saw each other once a week. On the weekends. Because turns out they lived somewhat far apart. So they only really had like a chance to see each other once a week. <laughs> fun, also fun thing that happened when my my mother came over to my father's place when they were younger at one point, and <laughs> my grandma was like, let's just like straight up apologize to my mother because like my grandma was a hundred percent aware that she just possibly spoiled my dad a little bit too much. Like, he literally came back at, like, 8 p.m. from a play date or something, and she would make him dinner. It's like, uh, it was fucking natural. No. He came back, like, way fucking late. Like, at 9, I think it was, instead of 8. But yeah, he came back too fucking late. He should make his own food. And now he's over here, like, it doesn't fucking eat anything, and uh, instead of just tells people, hey, I'm hungry. It 
It's sad when your father comes up to you with a fucking frozen pizza. It's like, can you make this for me? This has happened to me. It actually has happened to me. My fucking father went up to me with a fucking frozen pizza. It's like, do you, can, can you do, make this for me? I don't know how to make this. That's fucking sad. Here's the thing. I can't cook. Like, yeah, I can make something from fucking salmon. And I can make gyros. But that's basically it. Can't really make anything else, quite frankly. I've never learned how to cook. Because my school never thought to fucking teach me. But I can at least go, into the f go to the fucking freezer and be like, Hey, this frozen food, I'm gonna fucking make this for myself now. But yeah, it's, it's rarer for my mother to actually make me food. Because I usually make food myself. It's mostly like I ask my mother mostly to uh, cook. If it's stuff where I am too anxious that I'll fuck it up, quite frankly. Like, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I sometimes... Like, if we have, like, a really nice cut of, cut of meat. Where it's like, yeah, this was expensive... And I'm scared I'll fuck it up and waste the cash. That's when I ask her to do it. Or something else. Uh, another case when I ask her to do it is for like dump noodles. Because I quite frankly have no idea how to make dump noodles. I tried once and I fucked it up. And I, since then I've been fucking scarred for life. Because turns out uh, my mentality is real fucking weak. There's a reason why I still don't have my fucking driver's license. I'm starting to talk too much about myself again. Anyway, you should discuss. You should discuss it with me if you're worried. After we come together, okay? Natsuki says that with a downward gaze. A brief moment of tension drifts from Natsuki's body. Natsuki might be thinking that she doesn't want to go as well. It'll be troll if you say something like, "Don't go." Like they do in dramas, what? It'll be tr it'll trouble you if I say something like "Don't go," like they do in dramas, wouldn't it? Natsuki says this serious. Yeah, and not being pressured by Natsuki's tone, it's the promise again. She mentioned it a bunch of times before we started going out, but I have no recollection of it. From the course of her story, it has something to do with college and becoming a veterinarian. But, 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 Natsuki's serious expression turns into a smile. Yeah. You make a U-turn with the Italians and uh, Italians who try to keep going. Natsuki, who had a stiff expression, so returns to her usual normal her usual bright self. Apart from Natsuki in front of our uh, for the house that entered the garden. But I part from this game as I end the recording. I hope you guys are just want to see you next time. Bye bye. I'm definitely feeling the effects of the alcohol. It's been like a while since I drank. No fucking wonder I do.